In the meantime, a day before the Maharashtra budget, a back to the basics budget which will focus on making our cities cleaner, commute smoother and make it easier for citizens to access health and education services across uh, the state and that's what uh, Mumbaikers really expect from this year's budget. Here's a report. Infrastructure, very poor, very pathetic. Mumbai people are wasting more time in travelling. Better roads, better infrastructure. Citizens are unhappy with the city's failing infrastructure. While the government has hinted at focusing on mega projects like Mumbai Nagpur Expressway and Versova Bandra Sea Link in the upcoming state budget, tax paying citizens of Mumbai are very clear that all they want are good roads and seamless transport facilities. Experts also believe that the government must focus on public transport system. We are looking at transport, which is one of the biggest challenges that Mumbai faces. Uh, every day it's getting excruciating more and more. So we're talking about public transport, either roads uh, or trains. Uh, all forms of public transport really need to be radically changed to make people uh, travel and commute in a more comfortable way. Good news says that this budget will have no electoral compulsions, meaning it does not have to be a populist budget. This means that the budget can focus on getting the basics right. The first step that the government should do is to try and bring up the public health spending of the state to at least the national average. The national average is 1.2% of uh, the GDP. So in effect, it means that Maharashtra should at minimum double its health care spending if it wants to come to the average of about uh, uh, 14 to 1500 rupees per capita. It is now spending about 800 rupees per capita. <laughs> In fact, for a state that prides itself on being the most progressive in the country, Maharashtra has an abysmal human development record. Mumbai as well presents a sorry picture. Though to be fair, the government is trying to rectify that and the hope is that it will be reflected in the budget on the 18th of March. If we are able to simplify the governance and build up capacity, you know, governance is a broad, big term. What it really means is, to my mind, two things. One that the capacity is to implement and work through the processes that are there whilst at the same time simplifying these processes. If we are able to do that, then the government will be able to spend more. In the year 2016-17, Maharashtra government spent only half of what was allocated, about 47% of a total budget outlay of 3 lakh crore rupees. With the electoral compulsions behind them, the man on the street really hopes that this time around, the focus will be on implementation. Amata Balachandra for Magic Bricks Now.